on your own now, honey. Keep pedaling. I love your new Focus. What's that? It's sick with my Ford Touch, and it's awesome. Try it. It controls my my phone, music, and tells me where to go. Cool. Check it out. It gets up to 40 miles to the gallon on the highway. Sweet, but are you okay? Oh, oh yeah. I'm just so excited. That's cool. Let your inner child out. me by now. These two girly girls <laughs> are girlfriends. And this is about girlfriends here. And this, this little girlfriend is from Basketball Wives, I'm sorry. And this one is from Housewives of Atlanta. And, and, um, and oh, don't forget Celebrity Apprentice, honey. And also, weren't you on the red carpet or white carpet with uh, yeah, when Ryan C. Press at the Emmys? Right, at the Emmys. So, I this little baby had her divorce party last night. Oh my and gosh. so she invited me down. I, I kind of crashed it anyway. <laughs> hey, no, are you having you a divorce party? You were invited. Yes, yeah, she did <laughs> invite me down. And uh, they were taping it from VH1, but we weren't able to do anything last night with them. But she agreed, she and Deanna agreed for us to come and take them today. We were at a beautiful uh, hotel in the cabana. <laughs> and Nene came down. I was so shocked to see her That's because. So cool. Yeah, but I didn't know that. We went to a club last night and we were standing at, uh, in the club, and then all of a sudden Nene showed up, and I was like, oh my God, I have and I am not a conversation literally and she was like you know what maybe I'll come to Miami I'm like yes. please come and she was like I'm on a flight boo I'll be there I'm I like, did Yay. I did now it was like I really need you here and I caught a flight and why did you feel like you needed her there because I just feel like <laughs> Our lives are so parallel right they now. Are. We're going through very yeah. similar situations. So yeah. when you have someone that is going through what you're going through mm -hmm. and you can relate, yeah. and we just click. Like, that's yeah. my boo. They but get you better were, understand. But were you all relating before the relationships were, that were kind of breaking apart? We hadn't met. Well, you hadn't met before. No, that. once we met each other, we met each other while we were going through what we were going through. Right. And where was that that you met? Uh, I don't know. Where were we? Remember? Jen? We I met. Don't um, where the hell did we meet? Uh, Super Bowl in Dallas. We were both hosting oh, parties. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, uh, it's, it's really funny because it, it really wasn't that long ago, but mm -hmm. I kind of feel like I've known her forever. For a long time. We've had lots we just, of like, conversations. We, we just clicked. Yeah. It's not. You don't find that many that you vibe with like that mm -hmm. yeah and especially I think at the age that we're at you kind of have like your four friends yeah but like it was just it was instant divorce is very difficult I don't care what's happening now you're in the public eye so what were some of the things that you could share with what with each other to kind of uplift one another or well, no, what, well, what I think is that we're okay, obviously both on reality shows, and I think Jen had saw my show and I saw hers, and I knew she was going through a divorce, and I was going through a divorce, and our lives were just sort of, it was crazy how it was like a mirror. Jen and I, yeah, we were both married to these guys and weren't living with them, it was just crazy. So. That's true, that's true. Now, the other night, you didn't make the party though. Like, you you weren't able to make the divorce party. You could, you came out here because I was she having. She doesn't exactly uh, know what happened yet. Either. I was having dinner with Brad. Actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't make it. Because you all still kind of friends. So you and Brad. And we're parents. Your parents. So and how are the friends. kids doing? How are they? Doing? Um, I think the kids are doing good. We're trying to not let Brent know as much. Bryce is 21, so it doesn't. I mean, he's an adult. So it's kind of now you don't have any children. No, but, no, it's no. Still, but it's still, not yet. You know, you don't have yet. Did you catch that girl? I know, I heard that. I said, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> yet I'm. I <laughs> mean, <laughs> really, am I you going in the baby shower? I do. I want one and I want to adopt one. Oh, okay. that's beautiful. Now, do you have anyone that, now, I know that, is this, is this difficult for you? When this airs, this is going to be after your episode last night mm -hmm. is over, okay? So we can talk about this a little bit. So, a divorce, you say, is difficult. I know that you will always love him. But is this difficult for you still? You know what? It's not difficult right now. Because I, I think I've gotten past that point And there's, like, some stuff that you're going to see leading up to the party <laughs> that... Really, I was like, you know what, I'm done. <laughs> because oh it just God. was a confirmation that we can never be together. I made the right decision. It's difficult when you go 
through it in the public eye, mm -hmm. but I'm in such a good place and I'm happy. So <laughs> I'm done. I'm, I'm over it. I'm in a good place. I'm moving on and I'm really happy about the decision I made. Okay, when you, do you ever look at the old, um, uh, the old tapes of what he said to you? Do you ever study what he said to you? Or so that you do you have flashbacks? You know no, I don't. Flash but it's like you see one thing on the show and I see something else. Okay. Like I like see what? those those text messages like is there any chance we can get back together? Wow. I'm still in love with you. Mm -hmm. So what what you see him on the show, like everyone's like, Oh my god, he's so mean to you and yeah. and I'm just like, but you don't see the, the real deal. deal. This is what you mentioned to me before, because he's a lot of fun also too, right? Mm -hmm. and no, we have some good times. You have good times sure. also. So but he's taking this, how's he taking this? I think it's more of an ego thing. Well, do you I think it's all the ego? Hurt. I think he's hurt. He's hurt and it's the ego. And that's a bad combination.